According to a new map of the Milky Way by Japanese space experts, the solar system's position isn't where we thought it was. The National Astronomical Observatory of Japan said that mapping based on recent observational data puts Earth 2,000 light years closer to the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A star at the center of the Milky Way. The map suggests the gravitational behemoth is now 25,800 light years from Earth. This is closer than the official value of 27,700 light years adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 1985. One light year is equal to about six trillion miles. The calculations also show our solar system is traveling around the Milky Way seven kilometers per second faster than thought. The velocity component of the map indicates that Earth is traveling at 227 kilometers per second as it orbits around the galactic center. This is faster than the official value of 220 kilometers per second. But don't worry though, we are not hurtling towards the center of the Milky Way. Instead, the changes are results of a better model of the Milky Way galaxy based on new observation data, including a catalog of objects observed over the course of more than 15 years by the Japanese radio astronomy project, VERA. VERA is short for VLBI Exploration of Radio Astrometry and refers to the mission's array of telescopes, which use very long baseline interferometry to explore the three-dimensional structure of the Milky Way. The survey beautifully demonstrates how tricky it is to map a galaxy in three dimensions from inside it. It's a problem that has long troubled our understanding of space phenomena. It's relatively easy to map the two-dimensional coordinates of stars and other cosmic objects, but the distances to those objects are a lot harder to figure out. This new change, however, may not seem like much, but it could have an impact on how we measure and interpret activity in the galactic center. Ultimately, hopefully, leading to a more accurate picture of the complex interactions around Sagittarius A. Knowing the distance of a cosmic object is important for us to determine their intrinsic brightness. A recent example of this is Betelgeuse. The red giant turned out to be closer to Earth than previous observations suggested. This means that it's neither as large nor as bright as we thought. Because we are inside the Milky Way galaxy, we can't step back and see what the galaxy looks like from the outside. Astrometry, accurate measurement of the positions and motions of objects, is a vital tool to understand the overall structure of the Milky Way and our place in it. Sagittarius A is thought to have a mass equal to more than four million suns. Its enormous gravitational field governs the orbits of stars at the center of the Milky Way. Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Ghez earned the 2020 Nobel Prize for Physics for the discovery of Sagittarius A. There are several types of black holes, but the supermassive ones may be connected to the formation of galaxies. That's because they often lie at the center of the massive star systems, but it's still not clear exactly how or which form first. Now, Vera hopes to observe more objects, particularly ones close to the central supermassive black hole to better characterize the structure and motion of the galaxy. As part of these efforts, Vera will participate in EAVN, East Asian VLBI network, comprised of radio telescopes located in Japan, South Korea, and China. By increasing the number of telescopes and the maximum separation between telescopes, EAVN can achieve even higher accuracy. 
Our star, along with its planets, float around the Milky Way galaxy. Stars beyond our solar system are arranged in a pinwheel pattern with four major arms, and we live about two-thirds of the way up one of them. Almost every star hosts its own family of planets. We have discovered thousands of these exoplanets, and thousands more are awaiting confirmation. At the center of our galaxy lies the Sagittarius A star supermassive black hole. All the stars in the Milky Way orbit it. This behemoth black hole is about four million times as massive as our sun. Our galaxy is part of the local group, a neighborhood about 10 million light years across. It consists of more than 30 galaxies that are gravitationally bound to each other. The most massive one in this group is Andromeda. It appears to be on course to collide with the Milky Way in about four billion years. Scientists that study galaxies observe that the stars in the outer parts are orbiting the galactic centers just as quickly as the stars further in. They deduce that something other than the stars and clouds of gas and dust known to comprise galaxies was providing extra gravity. They calculated that there must be five times as much of this mysterious dark matter, detectable only by its gravitational pull, as there is of the matter we already knew about. The local group is only one of many, many clusters of galaxies. They are all moving away from each other as more and more space comes into being between them. This means the universe itself is expanding. That discovery is what led to the theory of the Big Bang origin of the universe. Mm -hmm.